Hey, this is Politics with Laura. I got a good one for you today. Look, BRICS nations. Okay. What's going on in the U.S. has everything to do with BRICS. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, BRICS nations. And they formed, I think, 2015. And and when I've heard of it, I didn't pay any attention to it. Oh, very relevant. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay. The reason why the sanctions are not working in Russia is because of the other nations. China did not sanction did not agree to the sanctions in Russia, neither did India, because they belong to the BRICS nations. If you hold on for a little bit and walk through this with me, you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and what's happening. Because right now, the BRICS nations is taking down the U.S. dollar, and they're doing a darn good job of it. I'm not even going to go, I could tie it into the Ukraine, but I'm not going to do that. It's just me doing this is bad enough, and I hope they don't take this video down, because they've been coming after people that are talking about this. So, let's take a look at this first. Uh, bricks. The economy, let me see. No, let me do the other one first. Okay, Russia urges BRICS nations to integrate payment system and cards. Now, um, this is very important because right now, since Russia is having a go around with the European nations. They're not engaging in war, but they're engaging in economical war. And because Russia has the gas and the oil that goes to all of them. And it's very, it, it, <laughs> this is mind boggling. Putin holds all the cards. He does. And the European Union is 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 walking a tight rope, a very tight rope, because Putin can just say, "Boop, you get nothing." But that's not what he's doing. He's saying you have to pay me in rubles, and if not, then you go on a stock market and you pay on this account for the gas and the oil that I give you. You're going to have to pay for. It. And put some stank on it because they pay me more. No, I'm just making that up. <laughs> but, um, oops, what's going on? Struggle streaming already. All right, so let's get back to this. So, here, the Russian government has urged the, Bri the BRICS nations, okay? And um, to get them on in in line uh, as far as the currency is concerned, to import export operation to integrate payment system. And I wonder how much this has to do with cryptocurrency. That's just me talking out the side of my neck. <laughs> Okay, following the invasion of the Ukraine February 24th, Russia has been hit by unprecedented Western sanctions that have cut, cut it off from the global financial system. And, and that's where BRICS comes into play. Now, because the, the uh, U.S. has sanctioned it, has sanctioned Russia, now it, it won't be able to, t to use the uh, the SWIFT. I don't know how many of you heard of that, but SWIFT is the streamline of payments that that other countries use. So then the U.S. can say, "I'm not sending you any money." Nope. 
and that's what they did to Russia. You're not getting anything. You can't use SWIFT, you're off. <clears throat> Meanwhile, international payment cards, Visa, MasterCard suspended operations in Russia in early March. Russia's biggest bank had also lost access to SWIFT right here very important SWIFT the global banking operation system so uh, this right here is extremely important they they can't do business the way they want to but however they are because of the BRICS nations they have been able to get what they needed and this is what what goes on in my mind even though that they're not able to use the SWIFT nations, but their allies have access to it. And so whatever Russia needs, they can get stuff from China or Russia, I mean China or India. So how can the U.S. say, oh, well, you can't give them toilet paper. And uh, we, you, you, you got money to get toilet paper and you give it to them, you can't do that, you can't blah, blah, blah. You can't tell a sovereign country that's not in, in war with you or having an economical fight with you, and you can't tell them how to do whatever they need to do with what they want to do it with. Just my two cents. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep this short. But the interesting part is this. Let me see. Okay, the punitive measures also destroyed the foundation of the existing international monetary and financial system. Okay, I don't want to bore you with that. But here, here's the interesting part. Now, oh man, I hate it when it gets like this. Okay, uh, the BRICS club, the BRICS, Brazil, India, China, South Africa. Now, this this is what the article basically says. It talks about the economy, the economical health, and the social, the uh, social part of what they're building. So, China is doing well economically. It is um, China. Uh, China, Russia, India, uh, South Africa. I'm missing one. And Russia. Now, they, they all are leaning on one another because just between China and India alone, that is half the world right there. Whew, what a massive move. That's the half the world right there. And then you have uh, Russia and South Africa and Brazil. Now, Within these components, as they are building their infrastructure, their economical infrastructure, uh, their banking, um, oh my goodness, their banking and their other infrastructure as far as hospitals, education, and as they're putting all of these things, laying it all down, um, they also are working on the social component to where getting people to be happier, to getting people uh, to get out and working and, and just having a better quality of life and having happier people. And there, um, um, they can keep top people in their country to keep people from leaving. So the most talented they are keeping right now India oh man India Institute of Technology is kicking butt MIT Harvard Yale Oxford Cambridge they have nothing on India Institute of Technology they are whooping hind parts left and right China is working on that they what China has done as far as their social and their educational infrastructure is had people come in. I would have been over there if it weren't for Don. Okay, that's a long story, but I'm going to leave that one alone. However, getting people from other countries to come in 
to align oh man China has a um, I studied China's curriculum oh wow they have an ambitious curriculum the standards are just woof, top of the line yeah they're competing with okay I'm not gonna get into that I digress but they're laying the foundations for all that and to make people happier all those things and within this within this they're pushing the US dollar out of the window they're like up oh, we don't need your tyranny we have to um, bow down to you in order to get anything that we need for our people and if we don't fall in the line you're going to hold us withhold money we're done with that that's done we're over with it that's what's going on so BRICS they are overthrowing the US dollar and I gotta say they're doing a doggone good job of it and they have uh, Russia has Europe or the Federation of Russia has Europe by the gonads oh man it's gonna get crazy meanwhile China is taking Taiwan back Taiwan is so important economically in all the hmm how can I say everything what they have achieved will go to China and that would and and it is going to China and that would be a huge economical boost for China it's getting real it is getting real it's getting real it's getting real yeah uh, look at this but having said all that the BRICS nations um, that's what's going on today so the European Union the United States they're out BRICS are in they are the new kids on the block and everybody else is going to have to deal with them and that's what's going on and if you pay close attention what's going on in the Ukraine and Russia and if you can read newspapers outside of the US especially Zimbabwe does a great job getting information out Al Jazeera matter of fact um, if you go to redozone.com they have the world's newspapers in all languages check that out but having put that out the BRICS nations check out the BRICS nations keep up what's going on because you see they drop nuggets of information what's going on okay having said all that I you know thank you for stopping by could you please like subscribe if you like my content and thank you for being politically incorrect with me because you are because you're hanging with me bye bye